Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Self Love Mama here, also known as Amy. I want to say thank you guys so, so much for 300 subscribers. I am so happy and blessed to have you guys a part of the Self Love Mama tribe. So I thought to kind of like celebrate and do like a fun video, I wanted to do my very first Q&A for you guys. And we do have some questions. I did post a video yesterday, just a quick video. I will be taking that video later down today. In the future when I do more Q&As, I will just be making the post on my Instagram or on my Facebook. So please make sure that you are following me on there so you can be a part of future Q&A. So first I'm going to go to my Instagram and we definitely got a couple questions on there. So the first question is from Lavitati underscore shy and I actually went to elementary school with this girl. She is seriously such a sweetheart. Thank you so much for asking a question on here, Cheyenne, and I'm so sorry if I butchered your username. But her question is, before coming so positive, at what age did you feel the most unconfident and why? I love this question because I feel like with the self-love industry, the the self-development in industry, um, you just see a lot of people just putting out positivity out there. but not a whole lot of people. It's very rare. Um, there's definitely some amazing, you know, uh, influ influencers out there um, that are actually digging deep and showing you the real and raw and just being honest on when they don't feel good or, you know, the realness of loving yourself and how much of a struggle it is. Um, so to go back to the question, um, at what age did I feel most unconfident? I would say high school was definitely when I felt by far the the most unconfident I and so I would say around like when I was like I, I would say the age between 15 to like 17 in between there and I think it's just because I was so uncomfortable with my body I was constantly comparing myself to others so it always felt like I had this image that I had to you know be pretty have my hair done every day and have my makeup done and you know wear certain clothes and that was definitely when I felt most unconfident and when I was really really hard on myself when it came to my body image and I'm so glad though that I went through that because it's actually made me realize how freaking amazing that I am and that how beautiful that I am and it's also just kind of really opened my eyes on like it kind of like makes you think like man I wish I didn't spend so much time like being so concerned about what I look like or comparing myself to other girls or trying to you know have myself did up every day like I wish I didn't focus so much time on that and being focusing so much on being unconfident and just enjoying that time of my life like in high school like you know you're young you're growing you're in those awkward stages like how many of us have those awkward stages am I right but so that's kind of yeah when I felt most unconfident was when I was between like 15 and 16 in high school when I was uh, struggling. <laughs> Clutter Free Marie also commented on here saying, such an inspiration on being confident. I can't wait to see it. I seriously love you, girl. It's been so cool being able to connect with these other incredible boss moms, like YouTube moms, or even just YouTube boss babes. Like, it's been so amazing being able to connect with these other women. And so I just, I love you, girl. You're seriously amazing. Thank you so much. And Tonya, um, she says, you're so lovely inside and out. Thank you so much, girl. You are always posting such amazing positivity and such sweet, kind words onto my um, Instagram, girl. I love you. And so the next question, I have Marcy Roney. That's the picture that she's talking about. So she said, I love your shirt. What would your advice be on getting out of a rut slash back in the swing of things slash just plain getting your shit together? I love this question and thank you so much. I that is definitely one of my favorite shirts. I actually got that from JC Penney's for like seven dollars. Like 
Holla! So my advice on getting out of a rut and just kind of getting back into the swing of things is going back to your priorities. Like kind of just center yourself. So let's say you've been in a rut for maybe a couple weeks, couple months. I mean, we've all been there and you feel like you're finally like getting back into the hang of things. My suggestion would be to sit down and write down your priorities. Get back to your goals. Figure out what it is that you're wanting to accomplish. Um, whether that's personal goals or career goals or um, cre creativity goals. There's so many different ways that you can kind of hop back in. But to make sure that you don't get yourself back into that rut, I would really just focus on centering yourself on what your priorities are. Because a lot of the times I find myself personally, when I get put in a rut, it's usually when I'm feeling overwhelmed or stressed out or I end up getting like depressed and it all just kind of like, or anxiety and then it just kind of like, jumbles in a ball and just totally just creates this entire really bad cycle from there. But I notice when I get that way, it's when I need to figure out my priorities because I ended up focusing on my time on something that is not serving me or I'm putting all my energy into something that's not making me feel good. And so just kind of going back to going back from square one and figuring out what it is that truly makes you feel good and truly makes you happy. And there's just something about prioritizing your goals and just having it down on paper just makes you feel like you got your shit together. Another suggestion would be going back to your vision board. I actually did a vision board DIY here on my channel. I will have that video linked down in the description box. You know, maybe it's time to start fresh with a brand new vision board and just kind of get things refreshed and feeling good and feeling like you have this new positive energy like flowing through you instead of barely kind of getting out of that rut. I hope that answers your question. So now I'm moving on to my YouTube video that I posted yesterday and I have Creative Chaos. Ashley, she's amazing. Um, she commented a couple of questions on here that I am so excited to be answering. So her first question is, what is your favorite thing about each of your kids? I love this question. This is a very good question. But so I know we have some new subscribers on here. So I am actually a mom of twins. I have a boy and a girl and it's Clayton and Olivia. So I would say my favorite thing that I love about Clayton is how adventurous he is. He is so like fearless when it comes to things. I know most kids are, but he literally just has like no fear, it's insane. I love how you can just tell the way that he sees the world is just so beautiful and amazing and like everything is new and fun. That's definitely one of the things that I love about him. And then of course, another thing that I love is his sensitive side. Like he definitely is a mama's boy at times when he wants to be. He's definitely a daddy's boy, but when he's a mama's boy, he is so sensitive and I love that side of him for sure. Now with Olivia, I love her independence. She is extremely independent and very strong willed, which can also be like challenging at times, but I'm honestly so thankful that she has that side of her because I know that that's really going to benefit her in her, in her future. But that's one of my favorite things that I love about her is how she just has this fire in her and she's so determined and she's so strong like like her personality she you can just tell she carries a lot of strength in her and that's one of my favorite things about her her second question is what is the biggest challenge in being a mom Whew. oh man that's a really tough question i feel like one of the biggest challenges of being a mom is questioning on if you're doing it right <laughs> i feel like that's definitely been a big challenge for me is just being able to confidently kind of own myself as a mother if that makes sense um and just not like questioning myself on like well is this what's best like am i doing this right like or should i be doing it a different way well this mom friend does it this way and this mom friend does it this way and my sister does it this way and my mom did it this way you know i feel like there's just so many 
great information out there to you know on how to raise your kids and all this stuff but I think it can also be kind of a negative thing at the same time and it can overwhelm moms like no other and it's hard because I feel like every mom has their own beautiful way of raising their children and I think that we just need to own it, you know, and that has definitely been one of my biggest challenges is just being able to own myself as a mother and like on how I do things and how I raise my kids and, you know, and how I, you know, reward them and how I discipline them. Like, if that makes sense, that's kind of just been like a struggle for me. Um, but it's definitely a work in progress. You know what I mean? And then her third question is, what is the biggest challenge in being a youth? YouTuber. Oh man, you girl, like you just hit some really good questions. I'd say one of the biggest challenges of being a YouTuber, especially like a YouTube mom, is like finding like the nooks and crannies of being able to like sit down and film. Because for me, I'm a stay at home mom and I also work from home. So it can definitely um, be challenging when I'm trying to actually be able to find time to actually sit down and talk to you guys. Um, so I'd say that's one of the biggest challenges is like my time management on actually being able to film but so far, I'm like kind of getting into creating the schedule and it's, you know, I'm weaving it in and I'm making it work. So I'm definitely getting there. But that's definitely been a big challenge for me is just kind of being able to really pick the, the right time to actually film when I'm not vlogging. I feel like vlogging is very easy because I can just pick up the camera and, you know, my house is a mess and it doesn't matter and whatever, you know, because it's real life. But um, when it comes to having these sit down videos it can be a little bit challenging and tricky because I also want to make sure I have good lighting so it's during the day because I don't have any lighting equipment I like to use a natural light and so I really have to make sure that I make time um, whether you know when my husband's home or it's during the kids nap um, you know just finding the time during the day to actually sit down and film a video so I would say that's kind of a bigger challenge for me when it comes to being a youtuber and then her last question is if you could the 10 years ago version of yourself one piece of advice what would it be this is so funny I love that you put this because the first question was when I was most you know unconfident was you know when I was you know between the age of 15 and 17 I'm 25 so 10 years ago if I could talk to my 15 year old self I would just tell her that she is beautiful and she is worthy. She is fully capable of being able to accomplish whatever it is that she wants to do with her life. And that it doesn't mean that she has to go down the typical road that everyone else is going down. Um, as far as college and the typical, you know, career-wise, if that makes sense. But uh, that, that would be kind of the advice that I would give my... 15 year old self is just you know that you're amazing and you're worth it and you can do anything and that it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks all that matters is what makes you feel good and what makes you happy i just realized that <laughs> you put one piece of advice that was kind of like multiple but yeah, that works. So that is going to be the end of this Q&A. Don't forget to subscribe. I love watching this amazing self-love mama tribe, this self-love mama family grow and blossom. It's been so amazing. So don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the family. Also give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see another Q&A or if you guys even want to see a Q&A with me and my hubby, if you guys want some marriage questions, I would love to do a Q&A like that as well. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And I would be happy to put that together for you guys. But with that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.